For the U.S. government, a worst-case scenario. NSA leaker Edward Snowden slipping out of Hong Kong despite an extradition request. The Hong Kong authorities say the U.S. Justice Department's calls to arrest Snowden didn't fully meet its legal requirements. At least one Hong Kong legal expert calls the decision a shocker. Under the Hong Kong law, it's actually a very low threshold test. You simply need to show that the person is in Hong Kong and that the person is wanted for prosecution in the United States. Uh, so it's unusual that uh, the provisional warrant wasn't in place. I was quite surprised by that. Apparently so was the U.S. government, calling it disappointing, saying it's detrimental to U.S.-Hong Kong and U.S.-China relations. It would be very disappointing if he was willfully allowed to board a, uh, an airplane uh, as a result, and there would be, uh, uh, without any question, uh, some effect and impact uh, on the relationship and consequences. So we have to fight. Some Hong Kong legislators who rallied to support Snowden see the invisible hand of China. Well, I'm quite sure it's uh, Beijing's decision uh, and it's their desire to, to see him go because uh, if he would complicate Sino-American relationship just a bit too much. Beijing denies any involvement most analysts I've spoken to say that Snowden's revelations, while useful propaganda tools for the Chinese government, don't compare with their top foreign policy priority. Snowden claims that the U.S. hacked computer networks in Hong Kong and the mainland, putting the U.S. on the defensive in their ongoing cybersecurity dispute with China. But analysts believe a lengthy extradition process would have threatened the complex U.S.-China relationship at a critical time. So whether it's legal procedure or political pressure, Beijing is probably relieved that Snowden is now someone else's problem. David McKenzie, CNN Beijing.